promise to be brief. Last year, I received a message from someone saying that their mom was a huge fan of mine, that she loved my music. She would always tell them to turn me on so she could hear me sing. Then the message went on to say that she'd been diagnosed with stage four liver lung cancer. And the doctors weren't talking to her. They wanted to know if I would be available to sing. Now, I didn't respond right off, not because it was a weird request, but at that very moment in my life, I was kind of my own healer. And then I thought of my assignment. Thought about something Pastor Aaron said to me years ago. I always be willing to work for the Lord. Yeah. 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 That was a year ago today when I received that message. March 14, 2019. That was also the day that my sweet mama, Miss Shirley Thomas, got her wings. And I can't stand up here and pretend that it hasn't been rough because it has. Not because I feel guilty of anything, but because I don't know the Lord. But because I lost my mom. Yes. And Pastor, sometimes I wish I had somebody to talk to. Then sometimes I don't want to talk to nobody. As October approached, I knew I wanted to do something more than just a fancy Facebook post or pretty flowers on her grave. So on October 11th, Mama's birthday, we announced the Shirley Thomas New Wings Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. Designed to promote health by providing help to people impacted with terminal illness and creating hope for their caregivers. See, I didn't get an instruction manual on how to watch my loved ones disappear before my eyes. School didn't teach me that. All the counseling and the Googling and the pamphlets in the world didn't prepare me for that experience. But see, I already know where my strength comes from. Yeah. Nobody was Jesus. Yeah. See, God has me be a part of a family that taught me about family. I'm the product of the cycle of grandparents taking care of great grandparents and parents taking care of grandparents and children taking care of parents. Yes. My big mama always told us, God put us here to help somebody. Yeah. And that's what we want to do at the Shirley Thomas Foundation. We want to help people. We want to help people right here in our own communities. We want to teach people. We want to feed people. We want to teach people to be self-sufficient and feed themselves. We want to teach people to be more compassionate and loving. Because if ain't no Jesus sprinkled in, it ain't going to grow nowhere. Neighbors and friends that'll leave their jobs, families, and homes 